In today's tutorial, we're going to look at a new tool called TruePeer.ai, which enables you to create documentation and video tutorials quickly and easily. Let's dive in. If you've ever had to make documentation for your own products or to document company processes, you'll know it can be a really, really painful and arduous task. There are a couple of really good tools out there which enable you to record your screen. You just follow the process and then it will turn that into documentation. However, TruePeer has taken this concept and gone one step further. Not only do they generate the documentation, but they will also create a tutorial video complete with an AI voiceover for you. So if you're someone who doesn't like the sound of your own voice, you're embarrassed about your accent, or it's a company where they just want consistency with all of the voices and all of their videos, this is a really great tool. So this is the True Peer website, and the good thing is they offer a limited free trial, which enables you to test it out. So once you've created your account, the first thing you need to do is install their Chrome extension. So before I start recording, I'm going to quickly explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to record a example tutorial for a fake company called Acme Corp, which has a very simple room booking system based on a Google sheet. Uh, and I want to explain to new employees how they book a conference room using our Google sheet system. So to start recording, I'm going to go back to Troop here. I'm going to click create new and start new recording. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the microphone is selected and I'm also going to choose show toolbar and then I'm going to click start recording. It will then give me the option of what tab I want to record. So I'm going to choose my Google sheet here and click share. Uh, and then it's just reminding me I need to actually talk while I am doing the actions on the screen. So go back to my tab here. So welcome to this tutorial on how to book rooms in Acme Corp. Uh, the, the columns you should be aware of are the room name, the booking date, the booking time, and the name of the person booking. To book a new room, simply type in the name of the room at the bottom of the sheet, put in the date you want to book for, put in the time you want to book for, and then put in your name. Once you have done this, the room will be considered booked for you. Right, that's done, so I'm going to click stop to finish the recording. Uh, here we can see the recording here. You can listen to it and then I can click generate AI content. It's now uploading my video. So after about 60 seconds, uh, this is what it's given us back. So let's look at the document first. So this is the document which it's created step by step process. Um, it has put in handy screenshots and also got a kind of a highlight for where the cursor is at each point, which is really good. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's made a decent document. Uh, if I click here, I can edit it. Uh, so I could, for example, say, um, go to the Google sheet um, and I can also pick other moments from the video and add screenshots this way. Um, so if some of these screenshots were not appropriate, I can add my own ones. Um, but yeah, overall that looks really good. If I want to, I can also translate the document. Let's try Spanish. And here we have the documentation in Spanish, which is really cool. You can click Save Changes. And I can download that as a PDF, export it as Word, or as Markdown. Now let's look at the video. So the video has also been translated in Spanish. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm going to translate it back to English, just so we know uh, exactly what they're saying, if you don't speak Spanish. Welcome to this tutorial on how to book meeting rooms in Acme Corp. Let's dive in. First... Familiarize yourself with the columns on the booking sheet. The room name, the booking date, the booking time, and the name of the... So you can see it's made a pretty decent attempt at a tutorial. It's got some slight timing issues with the voiceover and the actual video, what's happening there. But it has replaced my voice with a far more professional sounding voice. And it does give the option to um, live edit the script. So let's say meeting rooms and it's just change it to let's dive in, keep changes, and regenerate voiceover. Okay, so those changes have taken effect immediately. Uh, you obviously have the option to select from different voices. Uh, you can add music. You can also change the background visual, potentially put in branded company background. 
you can tell it whether you want to do the zoom effects um, and you can also uh, link it to a hey gen ai avatar if you wish and then once you're happy with it you can publish the video like this and you just need a paid plan if you want to remove the watermark so after a couple of minutes um, i have this video here which i can now download as an mp4 there is also the option to share or get a shareable link which contains either the video or the document or both and if we look at the link it takes you to this page which has the video at the top and then the step-by-step -step documentation below it so this would be a really quick and easy way to share this information but alternatively you could download the documentation separately you could download the video separately and upload it wherever you want so this seemed like a very fast and effective way of creating documentation and tutorials let me know what you think i hope it was helpful